It's a shame Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the painting that I'm working on about uh, such a shame, the clip video and the song in the same time. Uh, I made a portrait of Marcolis. I spoke about that in previous videos. If you didn't see these videos, I will... Um, put the links below in the description box. Uh, I made several videos about that. I'm a little obsessed about this clip, obviously. Something goes wrong in my life. I go back to this video and it makes me laugh. And um, I I'm obsessed, yes. I I'm kind of addicted to um, the joy and the funny side of this clip I, I can't explain it makes me laugh and it makes me joyful it's like you know it's like nothing matters I have this clip video it makes me laugh I'm fine and I'm happy when I watch this video uh, it's true that it's funny I, I'm not the only one to laugh uh, by watching this video a lot of people laugh or are a little stunned. I saw some people who, who, who don't get it. They are like, what is going on with this guy? Why he's laughing so much? What is so funny? Of course, if they don't understand the topic of the clip video, they don't get it and they are probably wondering uh, what he did he smoke before <laughs> shooting this video. Um, you see, I don't need to smoke anything and I don't need to drink anything. I just have to watch this video and I'm good. <laughs> so I know that I've been rambling a lot about this video. I've been talking and talking and talking a lot about this video. And I love so much this video that I made a painting of Marcolis in this video. And it's only the first one. It's not going to be the last one. There will be many, many paintings about him. Different image, uh, different expression. Um, actually, it's a very good exercise if you want to learn how to do a portrait. <laughs> I think I'm going to become the champion of the portrait if I continue like that. My living room became like um, a studio. It's not a living room anymore. Look, <laughs> that is, uh, I use that to decorate my home. I have so much more things like that. You know, I'm a little, it's a little too much maybe. But you know, I've been working during years in an um, art and craft uh, shop. Um, in Paris and I was doing demonstrations so of course I I bought a lot and I was given a lot for my demonstration uh, things and I was given uh, a lot uh, from the suppliers also who wanted me to try the brushes and everything so um, I used some um, Martre uh, Martre it's uh, it's a kind of squirrel I think um, it's uh, this kind of uh, slightly orange hair, but um, not this one, this one, um, n but not orange like this. That is synthetic. It's good, but it's not as good as this one. Uh, these ones are expensive, but they last a very long time. And once you have them, you keep them a very long time. Otherwise, I use some... Um, brushes like this it's uh, pork hair uh, bristle we call that in the u.s and in england in the uk i suppose um very good but if you want something very precise and thin um, the squirrel is better uh, this is more for if you have a lot of uh, surface to cover it's better to use the bristles the white bristles Anyway, um, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. It's not completely done. I would say 
I did mostly the first coat of oil paint. I had to stop in the meantime because he has an um, orange scarf and um, I couldn't do the orange while uh, his coat was not dry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing my laundry right now. I'm, uh, it's about the painting. The coat is very dark. It was not dry. If I made the orange in the same time, the orange could have become dirty. And I really wanted the orange to be bright and really strong. So I waited a few days, like three days, that my coat, <laughs> no, not mine, his, that his coat was dry. And once it was dry, I could do the scarf. And that is only the first coat. Then I will do the second coat where there will be more highlights and probably more details. But so far, I'm kind of happy with what I have done. Um, it's not bad. I have the feeling that I paint much better now than I used to paint before. I also think that I make more efforts. Maybe because he's alive. And it's really a challenge for me uh, because, as I was saying before, I can screw up, you know, I can't fail. I, it has to be good, so I'm like, it's very tense, you know, when I'm working on it. It's, that is really strange. It's very tense, and in the same time, I'm smiling all the time, and it makes me laugh. I'm painting, and I'm laughing in the same time, and I'm focused in the same time, and I'm tense in the same time. I never painted like that before. I don't know if it does interest you. It probably interests you if you paint yourself or if you are also passionate about this clip video or if maybe you love Marcolis and you are interested by that. Otherwise, I don't really see what could be interesting in what I'm saying. I'm always curious about how other artists uh, create. Um, so if I was watching a video like that, of course, I would like to know. Uh, there are a lot of artists that I like. And uh, for example, if uh, David Hockney was explaining to me how he was, in what state of mind he was when he was doing, uh, for example, the Grand Canyon, uh, I would like to know everything why he chose that color, why he took this brush, why he did it like this, like that, with that color of uh, shadow. and But it's because I paint. Um, otherwise, I don't see the point. Anyway, I'm going to show you now. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with
little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. what I've done so far. So, so far I, I did this. So you see it's uh, not almost finished, but close, you know, really close. Uh, I started with this, with the dice. It was already glued on the canvas, but I added some um, tissue paper to hold them uh, in place to be sure that they will never fall down. Um, the tissue paper is really thin, so it creates a thin texture without being overwhelming and it really uh, glues really fast and nicely. I love working with a tissue paper in many things I use that. I took some pink one because uh, it's only what I had, but it doesn't matter the color because anyway, I painted above uh, the paper. So I started with that. Then uh, I'm going now to start from the top to the bottom. At the top, you see there is a very dark red area. Uh, there will be a title for, for my painting. I already had an idea. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, uh, calling my painting The Silent Talk, such a shame with an, um, a question mark. Um, why The Silent Talk? Uh, well, that is a, a little personal to me. I, I can't really explain uh, here in this video. But I was very glad because I had this idea by... Uh, talking with a friend and uh, the silent talk came to me in the conversation and I thought, oh, that is a good uh, name for my painting. And um, then I searched on internet to see if it was already taken for a painting or something or a song maybe. I didn't want to create a confusion uh, between two songs, you know. And actually, uh, there is no song uh, named like that, but there is a, a science project about that. So it, it was very funny because the science project has something to do with the name I chose. Um, the reason why I chose that name. So that was interesting. Uh, the background, you can see maybe that it's actually a very dark green and I went towards the emerald green. The face, I'm sorry, I, I really can't uh, film myself painting the face because um, I really need to be focused on that. It implies a lot of attention and uh, I really need to look at the model, which is that. So you see, I really must check the shadows, everything, and in the same time hold my brush so I can't, I don't have three arms, you know, and anyway, you know, I really need to focus on the face. It's something you know, painting a face, it's something really very personal when the person exists. Uh, I did the hat that you barely see, but I'm rather happy with what I've done. And uh, obviously there is a shadow coming here, uh, but... I'm glad. Uh, at the beginning, I thought, oh, the face is really pale. But, you know, on the photo, the face is really pale, too. And anyway, that is the first coat. I think it will be a little more colored for the second coat. But still, I want to keep the light, the most of the light on the face. Uh, then um, his color of his shirt is going to be whiter but uh, there is some shadows, so basically that is the color of the shadows, almost, and it's going to be whiter. I started to do the polka dots on the, on the tie, 
but uh, I have to redo the color of the tie because it's a little more uh, blue than that. Uh, I'm very glad with my orange scarf. At the beginning, it was too narrow. I had to widen because it was more spread like that. And I'm very, very happy with my coat because the coat is really dark. It's black, you know. At the beginning, I was thinking of doing the coat a very dark eggplant uh, color because on my screen of my computer, I see uh, the coat sometimes like eggplant uh, color. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to do my own black. So, you know, there is a way to create black without using a black paint. You mix some burnt umber. Uh, you, you know, it's a very dark brown um, with some uh, ultra uh, marine. Um, usually I take the medium one, but you can take the dark one. And when you mix this blue uh, ultramarine with uh, the brown, it creates a very nice black. But in my stock, I had this uh, black. The name is Noir Froid. Uh, it means cold black. And this black is very interesting because it doesn't really look black. It looks like a very dark, dark, dark um, blue. And I already had the green. I already had the red. I already had the black, uh, the hat. I already had the, the nude color of the face. I knew that I was going to have the orange. It was not made yet. I had the kind of beige here. But I did, I had some blue here, but it's uh, lighter. But suddenly I thought, oh, maybe the coat black, but looking almost like blue, uh, it's going to be perfect. And it was perfect because when I did the shadow, uh, not the shadow, sorry, the highlights here, uh, because the lights is coming here and show the, the shape of the collar here and also of the shoulder and it looks almost like blue and it was perfect I was so happy to have found this black that I basically never use you know and finally I used it here and I'm really glad that I did because it's exactly what was needed so the name is going to be here it's going to be as i was saying before uh, the silent took such a shame with a question mark and i'm thinking of putting the vivo here i think that you know it's like uh, in a um, pop art spirit i think that andy warhol will be really very proud of me and you know it's about a video the video um, you can see the logo vivo here okay so i will keep you posted uh, once i i'm done with uh, this painting uh, i really need to finish it quietly and uh, without pressure i mean um, because this painting is obviously very important to me. Um, this kind of painting is really new to me. Um, that's why it's so important. It's one of the reasons why it's so important to me. Um, I really want to do it right, really well. Um, but then I already know what I'm going to paint next. It's going to be about the song Tomorrow Started. So it's not going to be a portrait. It will be more about an ambience, uh, a feeling that I have by listening to this song that I've known since a very, very long time. Um, but more I listen to it, more I find something very interesting in this uh, song and it conveys a lot of images and um, I already know what I'm going to do. Uh, but it's going to be very different from uh, this portrait. Uh, anyway, the feeling of the song uh, Tomorrow Started is completely different from Such a Shame and uh, 
and I don't think there is a video about this song so I have to imagine <laughs> so I hope that it was a little interesting for you uh, if you are interested please uh, write comments like my videos it's it's the only way for me to know if you liked it or not or if you are interested or not or if you have anything to say about my painting even if you don't like it as long as you are nice you can say so uh, I perfectly understand that some people may not like what I'm doing you know uh, but at least I like it <laughs> so that is already very important <laughs> because it's going to stay in my home so it's better that I like it <laughs> um, and or if you have any technical questions about uh, painting uh, I don't know just tell me bye bye <laughs> <laughs> Such a shame